Hey guys, just in case you clicked on this video by accident, this is actually a series video. This is part two and not part one, so go back and listen to part one. Again, I have special guest Victor Leonardi. He's the owner of Nakao LLC from Hilo, Hawaii. That's where he currently resides in. And that's the big island that gets hit by hurricanes every single year and where a volcano just recently exploded. He's been very successful and he does lease options. That's his forte. Enjoy the show. Um, so we always offer that. Even if, we, even if we're looking to go in cash, we'll always offer owner financing if they're not planning to buy a new house. Awesome. Um, and I would say nine times out of ten, maybe eight times out of ten, they want to go for that because we show them the difference. If we're going to pay cash, it's going to be quite a bit lower because we're going to have to borrow that extra money um, versus just take over their existing loan and pay their bills. Um, instead of having to go borrow 400000 we're using their mortgage of, let's say it's 400000 It's usually less, but we don't have to pay all of that interest. Right, right. So you gain a discount because of the risk and also because you're fronting the cost, right? So that sales price, uh, you can negotiate a discount on there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the discount goes to them as the homeowner, really. It's it's not really a oh. discount for us. Uh -huh. It goes into their pocket. One of the things that we've done with that, too, is um, if the home sells for more than what we thought, based on the comps, because uh, we always take an average of the comps, and if it sells for the high end of the comps, then we, we typically split that amount with the homeowner. Um, depends on the circumstance and depends on the situation, mm -hmm. um, but you know we, we typically like to offer that. Okay, yeah, because the other way of going about that is, I think it's called a, uh, a net sale where they, they, they put the sales price of, let's say, 400000 and if it sells for 400000 that's what they get. But if you sell it over that, then those are your complete gains. I forget what the, the name of that type of transaction is called, but that's good that you're splitting it. That's really nice of you. <laughs> yeah, we typically like to offer that if they do the owner financing. Yeah, net sale um, listing. Oh, net sale listing. That's what it's called. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, most investors, when you cash out, you're done, right? Like yeah. the homeowner doesn't get anything else. It's done. And not everybody has got that from us, but most have had that option. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just depends on what it sells at. It depends what fees are involved in closing later on. And if they're behind, sometimes sometimes mm -hmm. we go into transactions where people are behind, you know, eight months, nine months. So we have to pay to get them caught up. Yeah. That's that's good. And how do you reach how do you reach out to them? Do you do like a, a mail campaign or door to door? How do you go about that? I can't tell you. No. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm comfortable doing door to door because that's that's what I grew up on. I don't like people right. coming up to my door anymore, so I gotta figure something out. But yeah, it doesn't. Matter. <laughs> Just curious. Um. Yeah. So we do. I was doing a lot of marketing, like direct mail to, mm -hmm. to people and pulling reports and through escrow. Mm -hmm. um, and I found that it was a good return on phone calls, but not a good return for getting picking up deals. Um, so then the, the business partner I was working with, um, she had she was paying for a different service, and that service was working really well. So she was basically, I brought her in as my partner. Um, and she had her, her business, I had my business, but... She brought the deals. She would kind of be like a project manager for each deal. Mm -hmm. And um, she lives on Oahu. I live on the Big Island. And most of our deals were on the on Oahu. So she was the boots on ground there. So okay. I said, hey, if I bring you in as a partner rather than just a bird dog um, or a, you know, a leads list, then you know I'm like, I can keep you close to home. We, can, we work really well together. And that way, we just started doing all of our deals together. But she passed away in November of last year. Oh, sorry to hear so, about that, man. Yeah. So we're kind of regrouping and seeing where now it's just me. Uh, kind of regrouping and seeing what's next. But I was thankful that she gave me that list of how she gets those leads. And I don't really want to disclose it on here because it's more of a, yeah. 
it's but it is it's an online marketing that we pay for basically for leads. That's awesome. That's good, man. So your forte is uh, lease assignments and seller financing, with a lot of stuff mixed in between. Yeah, well, it really is seller financing. It's just uh, an option of seller financing. Right, right. All the intricacies that come within it. You know, on, on the consumer side, you just they hear seller financing. It's like, oh, well, they're the bank, and I just pay them. But uh, I could get a lot more. Intricate, you know. Yeah. And that's left yeah. for the professionals. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times seller financing is exactly that. They're the bank, you're paying them a percentage of interest, mm -hmm. maybe a down payment. Um, in these scenarios, we don't pay anything. Uh, oh, well, I mean, we pay their bills, but we don't pay anything above that. We have our set purchase price rate from the start, and yeah. that's what we do the deal as. That's awesome. Hey. It just doesn't close until later. Right, right. Um, how long does it typically take to uh, bring it to fruition? The uh, you know the sale or the, the close of escrow depends on the project. Um, it typically takes us. I think our quickest one was uh, with a family in Hawaii or Hawaii, uh, a family in Oahu wanted to move off the island they were financially struggling and so I think we started talking to them in October or November they moved out right after Christmas and we got possession January 2nd and that property took us four weeks to remodel it was a condo uh, two-story condo took us four weeks to fully remodel um, it sold within seven days and then escrow took, I think it was like 45 days. So we were in and out of it uh, in less than three months. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, yeah, very quick. Very quick. Um, but most of our most of our condos have been within that time frame. We try for really? we try for three, three to four weeks for a remodel, unless you're pulling permits. If you're pulling permits, then you have to extend that because permits take a long time. So we yeah. try not to do anything that. Uh, that would require pulling a permit. Yeah, I had a property in Calipatria, California, and pulling permits, uh, we pulled a f we pulled a few and had the inspections from the, the county come in and do their inspections, and it just took forever. I think we had a total of maybe I want to say maybe six or seven inspections, and you know that that postponed us maybe about two months. Yeah. You know, yeah, if we're applying for permits, we're looking at, uh, typically it's around... Hey guys, well that about sums it up. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any questions about lease options, make sure to reach out to Victor Leonardi. His contact information is down below. If you have any questions for me in Arizona, remember he's in Hawaii. If you have any questions for me about lease options or just mentorship in general, I love teaching people new things uh, and answering their questions. Reach out to myself as well. We're both excellent resources and we're here now for you.